Hey guys, welcome to Facebook Live. I am here with Nicole. Jess is away for her wedding. She's getting married, um, but Nicole is here. She works to tell our student stories and she will act as our guest and a co-host today. So welcome. Thank you, I'm excited. We have Can some you good stuff today. <laughs> Yes, we have a very exciting topic. We're talking about the yearbook today, which um, many of our graduated graduates, you participated in making submissions. For everyone who is watching who hasn't graduated yet, uh, let this serve as motivation to you to keep going, and this could be you someday. Um, so in this Facebook Live, we'll walk through what the yearbook is, what it's all about, how you can submit in the future for the next yearbook. And then we'll actually launch the yearbooks. We're gonna open them up, show you guys all of the awesome content inside and let you take a sneak peek before you're able to scroll through yourself and uh, check those out and share them with your family and friends, which is really exciting. Before we dive into all the good stuff, just a few disclaimers. Um, please don't post any personal information in the comments. They are public. If you need to speak with us, um, of course, you can feel free to DM us on our Facebook page. You can also call Student Services if you are enrolled at Penn Foster at 1-888-427-1000. If you are not yet a Penn Foster student, but this inspires you to become one, you can call admissions at 1-888-427-6500 and see how you could be next in reaching these awesome goals of graduating. Um, but on the fun side, please, you can share this Facebook Live with your family, friends, tag them in the comments, leave us a comment, give yourself a shout out, give your friend a shout out. Um, let's make this a really cool celebratory environment today because that's what it's all about in uh, talking about the yearbook and all that fun stuff. So um, before we really dive in, Nicole, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you do here at Penn Foster? Absolutely. So I'm Nicole and I'm in our marketing department. And one of my main jobs is to tell our student stories. So you can find those on our Penn Foster blog, but you can also find them on our SoundCloud podcast and on our YouTube channel. So if you ever want to hear firsthand from one of our students, one of our graduates, what it's like to enroll in Penn Foster, what it's like, you know, to complete your program, the journey through the program, and just get like a little more insight and firsthand knowledge, check those out. That is awesome. So you have so much experience working directly with our learners to share their awesome stories. And the yearbook is a great avenue for that. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the yearbook is and why we do it? Definitely. So um, in the past, we always had an in-person graduation, but obviously due to <laughs> circumstances beyond our control, that's not really possible to do right now. But also, you know, it wasn't always feasible for everyone to attend graduation. It's here in Pennsylvania. So, you know, if somebody's living in California or Texas or, you know, far away, anywhere really, it might not be that easy for you to travel all the way to Pennsylvania. It can be a bit of an expense and, you know, time off of work. So we've decided to put together a yearbook. Um, we've done it in the past, but it's a great way to just recognize your accomplishments, to connect with your peers, other graduates, and, you know, celebrate them, celebrate yourself. And you can share it with family and friends and, you know, just really show everyone how proud you are of yourself and that you know you absolutely deserve every accolade there is because you accomplished something amazing that's such a good point you know everybody who's watching this who's a graduate you have motivated yourself to keep going uh some of you might have been in touch with us to get you know that support from our faculty and staff to get to that finish line and you reached it and you deserve to feel proud and you deserve to let other people who have helped you along the way or who you know you're doing this for like your kids your parents your friends uh to let you know that you have reached that milestone of graduation which is so awesome and so exciting um so the yearbook submissions for the 2021 2022 yearbook are now closed but um, we will be opening the 2022-2023 yearbook soon. So as for anybody who hasn't graduated yet, or if you're a recent grad and you missed the cutoff for this yearbook, you will be able to submit for the next yearbook. Um, Nicole, can you just 
briefly tell us a little bit about the process just so everybody knows how they're able to submit for next year's? Yes. Definitely. So it's really a very simple process. Um, we'll send out an email letting you know that, you know, this is coming up, but the actual physical process itself, you'll receive links to forms. The first one is a testimonial form where, where you'll give feedback about your time and your experience with Penn Foster. And then, you know, obviously it has basic information on there that you have to fill out, you know, your name, your email address, your student ID number. Um, and then once you're done filling out all those forms, it'll take you to the submission form and then you just fill it out from there. It's pretty simple and you can fill that with anything, you know, whether it's a thank you to peers or um, to your teachers or to family members, or, you know, you could throw an inspirational quote in there, which we'll see a little bit more about later, but that's all it really is. It's a pretty easy process and we'll kind of try and keep you, you know, updated when these things will happen. Yeah, and um, just to mention one other thing too, we do ask for you to um, accept that we can use your images and, and your quotes and posting on social or maybe our website, other things, even for this yearbook. Um, the yearbooks are public, we're going to be sharing the links out, so we just want to make sure that if you are submitting, you are comfortable with your image and your quote being shared out. So that's why we ask for your permission in doing that. We want to make sure that you know that these are public and you're okay with that. And of course, we'd love to celebrate you and um, you know share all this far and wide, but we just want to make sure that that's something that you want to. So without further ado, what do you think about getting into them? I am excited to see these. This is the first time I'm taking a peek at them. I think you too. So this is, yeah. I'm really excited. Because, um, and, you know, I forgot to mention before, I think too, you know, obviously we use this to celebrate you guys and you use it to celebrate yourselves, but it's really nice for us to see this too, because it does inspire us. I think it makes us feel good, like kind of selfishly, like it's, it's really nice to share in your accomplishments and it makes us feel like the work we do is very valuable. So thank you. I totally echo that. We love to see you guys succeed. And this is one of our favorite things to look at because it is seeing your photos and your quotes are just such good feelings and we're really proud of all of you. So without further ado, let me share my screen so you guys can see this. All right, Nicole, I trust that you'll tell me if anything looks wonky, but Let's Here try. is the Penn Foster College and Career School Digital Yearbook for 2021-2022. Um, so as you can see in this, we kind of changed up the format from last year. This is in a platform called Kudo Board. Um, let's check these grads out. We love to see some good photos, which we love a nice family picture. Family pictures um, and diploma photos, like that, really makes it so real. I think when you see the diploma and yes. when you are a graduate and you get that, it's really exciting. Tiffany, shout out to a great photo there. Good pose, good diploma. Oh, pets. We love we always love pets. <laughs> yeah, we know pets act as such good study buddies from time to time. So uh, it's great when you can give them a shout out. Like, oh, and I'm very excited to Savannah. see this one there with the dog Savannah. She is actually one of our graduate of the year finalists this year. So hopefully we will be releasing, you know, the winners shortly. But it's really nice to see her in there. She's really accomplished a lot and she's got a beautiful story. That's one of the stories you could check out on SoundCloud and YouTube. Nicole, while we're talking about it and scrolling through some of these awesome submissions, can you tell us a little bit more about what Graduate of the Year is? Absolutely. So Graduate of the Year is like a little contest that we have um, with our graduates. We split it, you know, we divide it between, you know, the career school, the high school, and then um, you just there's a form to fill out and, you know, kind of similar to the forms we talked about earlier, but you we expect you to give your story and tell us, you know, why you feel you should be the graduate of the year, what it means to you. You obviously have to be in good academic standing, but um, it's really a place to recognize outstanding students who, you know, they may have overcome large obstacles or they may have just, you know, really just persevered and had a really great outcome. But 
it's a competition to celebrate like the best of the best that you know we have here at Penn Foster with our students. So um, we always encourage our graduates to apply. We really love hearing your stories. And even if you're not selected to be a finalist, we still wanna share your stories. So please don't ever be afraid or hesitate to send those submissions in because we wanna hear from you. And you know, even if you're not a finalist or you're not a winner, like to us, as like corny as it sounds, you still are like a remarkable person with great achievements and we wanna share those stories. But um, the timelines vary on when Graduate of the Year comes out. So this year the competition opened in February and it closed in early April. So we're just waiting to hear and then um, those submissions go on to a larger competition where they then get chosen um, for all distance education. Yeah, so very excited. Hopefully coming soon, we'll be able to announce the winner, but we have podcasts and videos up for some of our finalists. So definitely check those out in the meantime. Um, I wanted to give a shout out um, from Kendall Brown. I think this photo of him smiling is so awesome. And I love this quote. I accepted the challenge as being my greatest competition and put in the time effort to accomplish one of my most important personal goals. I'm extremely thankful for the educational platform that Penn Foster provided for me to continue my education in a way that fit my situation and comfort zone. I think that's awesome. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I mean, and that's really, I think, you know, what is so great about Penn Foster. It is about fitting your situation, your comfort zone and making learning as accessible and as um, rewarding as possible. Yes, check out this one from Miranda. I am greater than symbol I was. And it looks like um, oh, her on the job doing her thing, hopefully um, in you know a career field that's related to the program that she graduated from. That's amazing. I love cap and gown oh, pictures. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Good tip for anybody who's submitting in the future who hasn't yet. A good cap and gown picture, a picture of you with your diploma. Um, we love a nice creative shot too. Mm -hmm. Look at Jasmine's. This is very cool. Don't oh, be, please nice. don't be afraid. Don't worry yourself. The end and beginning, beginning and end are connected. Very cool. Delightful. And Nicole Gonzalez, that's another one of our finalists for Graduate of the Year. I love that they're submitting them. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, let's check out her quote. This has been amazing. Going back to college and becoming the first college graduate in my family, wow, has meant the world to me and will show my daughters that they can do anything. Doing the Veterinary Technician Associate's Degree Program has made me realize what I love, and I will continue to be a voice for those who have no voice. I will devote my life's work to helping animals to live in a comfortable and compassionate life. My work has just begun. Oh, that is awesome. That. Especially as somebody with, with pets, I like especially love that. That's so cool. Yes. Yeah, we know a lot of our vet tech students and vet tech grads do it because they truly are passionate about the work they do and shout out to them. Oh, I love the glitter going on. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, love the nice family pics. Yes, I did it. What a good sentiment. Ooh, let's check out Candace. Already in the airline field, I decided to study for the aircraft mechanics program. This sweet boy and now his baby brother was my reason to finish. I'd recommend these programs to anyone. The instructors are top notch. So cool. Love to see the parents who are doing it to be a good example for their kids. You know, just because you have other priorities, you have kids, you have other things going on you can still focus on yourself and make the time for yourself to achieve your career goals and do the things that make you feel good. So that's awesome. Yeah, and at the end of the day too, like, I mean, it's for yourself and it's to accomplish something for yourself and feel pride in yourself, but it does inspire, I think, your kids if you do these things. And, you know, it does set a great example. So in, in a way, it's not really even, as much as you may do it for yourself, you really are, it has that nice like trickle down effect where it it impacts everybody else positively too. Definitely. Oh, from Jessica, really good picture with wow. the animals. 
I graduated Penn Foster ready to change the world. Well, I haven't quite gotten to the entire world. I've been able to change my world. Maybe that. that's how we really make big changes by bettering our world. We better the world around us. Couldn't oh, agree more. So good. That's very, very true. Absolutely. You know, we all have a lot of power to change our lives and the communities that we live in and the people that we interact with. And, you know, bettering yourself does have, does make us able to to better our our own little worlds and our own circles so i think that that's very cool love these smiling proud faces nothing better oh this is a good one from louise let's read it since my graduation i've acquired more experience with ai and photoshop which allowed me to create graphic pattern designs the accomplishment that I am most proud of is a packaging project I participated in for a product line from Tunisia, which should be on the shelves in the upcoming months. Oh, nice. So Congrats. cool. Earning an education at the age of 55 has been a rewarding and valuable experience for me. It has changed my life and it has helped me gain more self-confidence and renewed my passion as an artist. I was able to complete this course after a tragic health condition that could have left me incapable of pursuing my dreams and turning my passion into a career. Your life is your story, and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential by Carrie Washington. I just yeah. think that that's so cool. I think so, too, especially when you see that it's somebody's passion that they were able, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm getting a job. Like, you're actually doing something you really love and you really enjoy. And, you know, I think we have a blog on that, you know, about how to turn your hobby into a career, because a lot of times that's the best place to start is, you know, what do you really love and then just explore that further. And I think we have a lot of programs, you know, that can really help facilitate that for people. I totally agree. Oh, look at these good I pictures. That. That's so cool. Love, love, love how proud everyone is. She believes she could and she did. Awesome. Great oh, this is cool. Heather. Yeah, let's see what Heather has to say. Taking classes again have made me realize that I need to get out of my comfort zone more. If I don't know the answer to one thing, I will strive to find it. No matter how uncomfortable or how long it will take, I will find the strength. I think that's like very relatable to mm -hmm. a lot of you who, you know, are doing something a little different. And again, like, you know, it is a self-paced thing. It's online. You have to do it on your own time, which, you know, definitely takes some perseverance and self-motivation and uh, hard work. And you guys did that, which is very cool. A lot of planes. Very yeah. cool. Thanks to Penn Foster for teaching me what I now know from the PF Motorcycle Repair Technician Career Course, it allowed me to run on my Sportster with confidence. Happy riding. Nice. That's some good knowledge and yeah. literally in motion. <laughs> oh my goodness, a little goat. I love Aww. goats. So I love that picture a lot. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I did this all for her. That's so sweet. I love these photos. Oh God, Look at these, these are professional, fantastic. amazing pictures. Thanks to Penn Foster for giving me the opportunity to pursue my career and obtaining a bachelor's degree. I now feel confident to achieve such a prestigious award. My philosophy is it is not where you come from, but where you are going. Dream big, reach high, live well. Good yeah, words. I feel like that's a really common theme that you see in a lot of these or that you'll hear in like the student stories is the confidence that the programs give people. I think a lot of times, especially when it's adult learners coming in, you have a little bit of that imposter syndrome. Like, why am I here? What am I doing? Should I really be doing this now? And, you know, when you stick with it and you get yourself through it and again the nice thing is it's self-paced so if you are feeling overwhelmed you can take a step back and you know regroup gather yourself maybe think of a different way that works for you in terms of you know study habits but it really gives people the confidence that they need to then take that next step after they do finish their program so true well this has been amazing these are our college and career school graduates 
let's uh, hop over and show you guys our high school yearbook. And Nicole, I know I read a lot of the awesome quotes from college and career, so I'll let you okay. read some from our high school grads. Uh, let me know when to stop scrolling when we want to pause on one of our awesome graduates. So Definitely. we're choosing I mean, a random. First two photos are absolutely beautiful. Bianca and Emma. And let's see. And we have another, she believed. Um, oh, yes. More great. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. That's right. And then here's like a really great, like just simple one. Oh, could you go back up just oh, a yeah. page? Just congratulations to um, all of the 2021, 2022 graduates, including myself. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Let's go and get a go and do great things. I think that that's such like another great message. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a really inspiring quote and you don't have to come up with something, you know, really profound. It can be something as simple as just congratulating, you know, your peers and yourself on a job well done. So, you know, don't stress if you do want to submit something, you can, you know, just give a really heartfelt, simple message. We love how much you all support each other. Yes. I think you know, there's nothing better than feeling good about yourself and sharing those good vibes out with each other. And you guys do that. And it's awesome. Nicole, I love this quote. I was just going to say, um, can we look at Candace's for a second? Just know no matter your age or how long you've been out of school, you can always achieve whatever you set your mind to. That's so, so true. We have a lot of, you know, adult learners in our high school programs, you know, just because maybe you didn't finish on a traditional timetable doesn't mean you can't go back and do that. You know, time is shouldn't be a limitation. Um, check out this awesome suit. This is That's some graduation amazing. style right here. Oh, this oh, star hat with the little hat. I love it. Oh, this is another good one. We do not need magic to change the world. We can carry all the power we need inside ourselves already, which I think kind of goes back to what, you know, some of the other quotes from college and career where, you know, you can be a small change. Like it doesn't have to be, you know, on this huge grand scale, little changes add up and build up for everyone. Absolutely. Life is, you know, just a series of decisions. And sometimes like, you know, when you're making a good one and it's going to have that effect to things that you do later on to make your life better and be on that upward path. And so many of you guys are well on your way up, up and up. Another oh, nice cap and gown. Gown diploma. You guys are mastering these diploma and cap and gown yeah. poses. Killing it. This makes me want to do one. I know. Seriously, very this is truly, truly motivating. Yeah, um, I don't this, recall this, graduation this, photos this, looking this good for me. No. The creativity too is like so cool. Mm -hmm. Like I love scrolling through this yearbook and seeing every photo be so different and so unique to who oh, all I love this here. beach photo oh yeah and just like all of your quotes are so personal mm -hmm. and so personal motivating. wait let's check this out for a second Look at this gear. Shot. <laughs> oh my god so cool oh wait hang on can we wait oh, we go back up sorry People quoted the following, now that you're old, you want to study. Relentless people say, it's never too late to follow my dreams. Love that. Yes, it's so true. You know, like, we're all, we only get one life, and we're all on our own journeys, and you have to make the most of it, and you have to do the things that you want to do that you know are going to make you happier and make your life better. And I think we see all these smiling faces in this yearbook because you know that you've done that. Yep. Oh, another great suit. Yes. A lot of good dressers. This is an important mile. Yeah, I love all oh, the so nice people, their families. Yeah, I really like the ones with family members. I mean, not that, you know, it's 100%, but it is nice, you know, having that help and that encouragement from other people, too, I think is really important to help get you through some of the programs. So, you know, it's really nice to see when, like, they're acknowledging other family members who are just as proud of them, maybe even more so. 
Um, I like this one that says best six months of my entire life. Well, that's awesome that you were able to finish in six months. Six that's months. some dedication to the yeah, program, dedication to the goals. Very cool. I love the matching uh, hair and shirt combination. That is very good. Oh, that one was really good. If you scroll up, she did it for her boyfriend who had passed away. Oh. I think that's really nice that, you know, you acknowledge bad things happen, I think, to all of us at varying points, but it doesn't mean that, you know, that has to get you down. You can still push through and, you know, Maybe maybe not turn a good situ or a bad situation good, but you know you can use that for inspiration. You know, persevere for the people who maybe can't or didn't have the same opportunities. Absolutely. Oh, this is cool. She believes she could do it, and it's done. Finally, I never gave up. Now on to the next thing. That's yes. Fine. And that's what we want to hear. We want to hear about the next thing. We want to see, you know, what you're doing, what you're up to. Um, how your education helped, you know, push you forward. I just saw one too, dreams don't work unless you do. Very true because, you know, as like you said before, it's, it is self-paced and everything. So that requires a good amount of discipline to, you know, make sure you do things and get them done. But, you know, as, as great as the flexibility is, it's still a lot of work and you have to be dedicated to doing that. Um, check out Jose in Paris. Very Hopefully nice. that was a nice uh, graduation treat. Present. Trip. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely hope for all of you, you know, that you you know, it's great that you took the time to celebrate yourself, to submit your photo and your quote. I love pizza in my diploma. I had to call that out. Same. Um, but, you know, I hope that you also all took a moment to, like, have a nice meal, you know, celebrate with your friends and family. It's so important. You work so hard, and this is a huge, huge, huge milestone in your life, and you deserve every ounce of celebration and good feelings. Yeah. It's nice to take like a little break and just stop, absorb all of it, absorb what you did, the amount of work you put in, and then celebrate that. And, you know, it's really important because I think when you take the time to celebrate yourself in that way, it mm -hmm. it gives you even more encouragement. So that way, you know, on to the next step, whatever that may be, whether it's continuing your education even further or moving on to a new job or a new position, I think it really helps to motivate you to, you know, like, hey, I did this, I acknowledge that I did this, I'm really celebrating it and enjoying it. You know how good that makes you feel. So it kind of inspires you to keep going. So true. Oh, these are awesome pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this too. Oh. This is for you, mommy. What a great photo. <laughs> oh. As a mom, I love it when people think they're moms. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. Oh, a really good grad cap picture That's here. That's beautiful. Yeah, if you decorated your grad cap, send us a picture because we'd love to see those. Really, really cool pictures. Really great to hear your words and, and know more about your feelings. Never let anyone look down on your youth. Instead, become an example. Because we do have some people who enroll and finish really early, like off the, you know, it's not just, okay, you know, you're enrolling and finishing later than maybe a traditional timetable, but we also have people who, you know, they really want to hit the ground running and get a head start on life, on work. And so they enroll and they finish, you know, maybe six months, a year earlier than they would have if they were on, you know, a traditional, you know, public school timetable. I love this uh, photo and this quote. Hey, Penn, foster girls and guys graduate. We all are the graduates. We did it all. The sleepless nights, all of them. We have to make sure we do our retake exams before midnight. All the blood, sweat and tears it took to get our diploma. All the people that didn't believe in us. 
Now we can show them our diploma and say we did it. And that's the thing, you know, about education, like nobody can take that away from you. Like when you have that knowledge, when you have that diploma, that's yours for life. Mm -hmm. And nothing, well, no matter where life brings you, no matter what happens, that will always be yours. That's such an important thing to note, especially because, you know, you do see like a lot of the quotes in here, you know, somebody didn't believe in me and you know those those types of sentiments but you know once you do it that is yours and no one's ever taking that away from you it's always yours it's always valuable to have an education even if like say you enter a degree program and maybe you don't specifically use that or you don't go on the same path that maybe you intended to go on having that education is still so so important peace mic drop i love that so good exactly oh my god the best decision i ever made for me and my family was to go back and earn my diploma oh another nice family picture mm -hmm. oh oh cute dear not all who wonder are lost I feel like everybody in these pictures has really cool glasses and I feel like I need to get some new ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the confidence mm -hmm. that all of you who submitted have. It is totally radiating through the way that you're smiling, the way that you look, the way that you're holding up these diplomas. You could just tell that, you know, it you're you're confident, you're ready for that next phase and you're proud of the work you did and we're so happy that you all get to feel that way and get to move on to bigger and better things oh i love, oh, I love the shoes right. and the carat cap matching Believe in yourself and you will accomplish anything in life. Anything is possible. So true. So many doubts, but a year early, I did it. That's cool. I saw one, um, you know, earlier too, that it took them years, but they did it. And I think that that's either way is okay. Like no matter what your path is, no matter what you had going on, no matter how long it took, what's important is that you made it to the finish line. You reached your goal and you get to take in this moment of being a proud grad and, and really reeling in the success. For sure. Nobody has to do it the same way. Everybody learns differently. Everybody's experience is different. So, you know, being able to do it in whatever way works best for you is, I think, a really beautiful thing. And I think it really probably helps in a way to make it easier in that, you know, you don't have to do it the way somebody else did it just because it's what you're supposed to do. For sure. This has been one of the most powerful and ultimate goals that I have achieved thus far in my life. To have my family support it in this endeavor has been a blessing. I did it, class of 2022. Again, I love the shout outs to the family. Yes, that's a wrap, simply said. Yeah, sometimes simple is great. And that's the other thing, like simplicity is really good with these because as you can see, there are so many submissions that you know it's nice to share your story and to to drop like a message in there but you know try and keep it succinct if you really want to to like really share a bigger part of your story that's awesome please submit those for our student stories because we would love to share them with everyone definitely so yeah if you are a graduate and you have a story to share um, we'll drop the link in the comments below. Also, just check out the social media page or send us a direct send us a direct message if you ever lose the link or can't find it. But Nicole would be the one that you talk to to share that story. So um, we're not kidding when we'd say we'd love to hear from you. We'd love to learn more about your journey. Like as you can see, even in this, like you have the power to motivate and inspire other people 
to make your fellow graduates feel celebrated, to show off all of the sacrifices you made, the challenges you've overcome, the things that are next on your radar that you have planned. You, you know, it's so important. That. Totally. Yes, I did it. Never give up on your dreams. This one's good. As a mother of seven kids, I didn't believe I can go back to or have the time to go back. I did, and it was the best decision I've made. I'm so proud of myself. I am not in college to, I'm now, I think this is supposed to say, I'm now in college to become a radiologist. Thank you, Penn Foster. You will always have a special place in my heart. Oh, that's so sweet. So glad that you're already well on your way yeah. to, you know, take that next step up. It was earned, not given. It's never too late. Keep pushing through. 2021 Penn Foster graduate. I did it. Oh, that baby. No. Thank you, PF, for believing me. Look at this cool cake. I was just going to say, that cake looks amazing. Yeah, what a delicious way to celebrate. Right? And definitely, and it could, your celebration could be something simple like that. Maybe you're just home with some decorations and a beautiful cake like that. And that's, you know, for some people, it doesn't have to be a big blowout, like crazy celebration. It could be something simple. Just make sure you take the time to do that for yourself. Because like we said before, you really, really deserve it. Definitely. You know, I think it, I keep scrolling and it's so awesome to see everyone. It just makes me think like, what a great community mm -hmm. all of you who graduated in 2021 or 2022 have with each other. Like, go into the world. Find your fellow Penn Foster grads. Like, you have all shared something in common and been through something incredible, have persevered to achieve something incredible. And look how many there are of you in the world that all had this experience you know even though separately and online you all had this similar experience together and i think that that's so powerful um and that's i think why the yearbook is so cool you get to see each other's faces and know like these are the people who who have done something in life that you've done and feel similar to how you feel and i think having that connection that shared experience is so cool totally agree Congrats, let the adventure begin. That's good. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Very, very true. Good advice. All right, well, I think, you know, it's it's great that we all, we got to see you all and, and got to show you guys these yearbooks. We're so happy um, to everyone who submitted and taken the time to show off your accomplishments, to show off yourselves, to celebrate each other. That's all so cool and so important. Check out uh, these links. We will post them to our social media pages for you all to take a look. Uh, we'll drop links in the comments too for you all to take a look and celebrate together and share these with everybody that you know. Definitely, and keep in mind if you are still enrolled, um, keep an eye out on your social media, on your email, everything for, you know, the next round of yearbook submissions for when they do open. Absolutely. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you all for joining. We can't wait to hear more about what you accomplish next. So please stay in touch with us. Congrats, everyone. All right. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.